How to knit the King Charles brocade stitch for the loom. For today's tutorial, you will need your knitting loom. Today we are using a KISS regular gauge knitting loom with no spacers in between the pins and the pegs, your knitting tools, and a ball of yarn. Today we are using Tosh Chunky 100% Merino Wool by Madeline Tosh in the color Whiskers. This stitch is worked over 11 stitches on a background of stockinette stitch. Row 1. Begin by purling the first two stitches. Knit two together by slipping the next stitch over one peg and knitting both stitches off. Then slip that stitch back to the empty peg, knit one, slip that stitch over to the empty peg and yarn over the next empty peg, knit the next stitch. You'll need to temporarily move this stitch over to the previous peg to make room for the next few stitches. Then we will move it back after. Yarn over the next empty peg and knit the next stitch. Slip one and knit the next stitch. Slide that stitch onto the previous peg and pass that over the slip stitch. Now move all your stitches over one peg until you have one stitch on each peg. Purl the last two stitches. Row 2. Begin by purling two stitches. Then knit the next seven stitches. Purl the last two stitches. Row 3. Purl the first two stitches. Knit two together. Yarn over the empty peg, knit the next three stitches, slide the last knitted stitch over one peg to temporarily make room for the next few stitches, yarn over the empty peg and slip the next stitch and knit the following stitch. Slip that stitch onto the previous peg and pass the stitch over. Move all of your stitches over a peg until you only have one stitch on each peg. Purl the last two stitches. Row 4. Purl the first two stitches. Then knit the next seven stitches. Purl the last two stitches. Row 5. Purl the first two stitches. Knit 1. Slip the knitted stitch over one peg to temporarily make room for the next few stitches. 
Yarn over the empty peg, slip one stitch, and knit the following stitch. Slide that stitch onto the slip peg and pass the stitch over. Move your stitches over one peg until there is only one stitch on each peg. Knit one. Knit two together. Yarn over the next empty peg and knit one. Purl the last two stitches. Row six, purl the first two stitches. Then knit the next seven stitches. Purl the last two stitches. Row seven. Purl the first two stitches. Knit two. Slip the next stitch and slip the second stitch over to the following peg. Knit those two stitches together and slide that stitch back to the peg that you skipped and pass that stitch over. Now slide the new stitch over one peg and grab the yarn coming out of the previous stitch and pull it over the empty peg, creating a yarn over. Yarn over the next stitch and knit the next two stitches. Purl the last two stitches. Row eight, purl the first two stitches. Then knit the next seven stitches. Purl the last two stitches. Repeat rows one through eight until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the King Charles Brocade Stitch for the loom. Want more loom knitting tutorials? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our blog at VintageStorehouse.com to get new videos and posts sent right to your inbox. Thanks for watching!